Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the video. Today we have a special guest. Hey y'all. This is my executive creator. creator. Whenever I have an idea about a video, I always run it through her. So you're like, what do you think about it? So Jake, you introduce yourself. I am Sade. Nice to meet y'all. It's been a long time coming. What did you drop? My phone. <laughs> so since last year and then at work whenever I'm able to take games mm -hmm. is when she'll play. That's mm -hmm. the only time that she plays like these besides the ones that she- I lie, it's been two years. Oh, two years. Yeah, because, yeah, it was two, it's been two years. Okay, so yeah. two years mm -hmm. now, but we don't play at every single uh, book club meeting. So we combine book club with game night. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes, you know, we don't, we don't have a book club, like a physical, we'll do video or We'll try to do an activity. Well, the yeah. activities have been like more recently. Sometimes we get bougie and go to the bookstore. Too. Yes. So she's like beginner novice when it comes to uh, the modern day board games. She of course does have um, just the OG games that she plays with her family. Yeah. Um. So she's not like new new to board games, but like the simple ones. Yes. Checkers. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, Yahtzee and stuff. <laughs> Yahtzee. So we Love have. Yahtzee five games that uh we've played whenever we do like our book club or the games that we have at work that she these are her favorite ones and mm -hmm. she's just gonna give us a quick little deal of why they're her favorite and these are more so like beginner friendly yeah but they're still really good for uh more advanced or whatnot true um and this is an order right that you want you said right yeah coincidentally the order that i'm doing them in is like kind of like from beginner level to intermediate to they're all still beginner level but like each game mm -hmm. that i put in that order it's like the, the, it was random it also is like in order from like the easiest and it gets mm -hmm. a little bit more challenging yeah. with each game yeah. and they also get longer true yeah, yeah. I didn't think yeah, about that. this, this is, the longest. That is the longest game oh yes my gosh, it's my the longest yeah. um but let's go ahead and start it off what about this game do you like okay so my favorite thing about this game is that i get to live through this game because i don't have pets <laughs> i love dogs and i get to live through this game mm -hmm. so that do part you want to hold the game oh sure thank you <laughs> and then also what i like about this game is the fact that in general i just literally get to live through the game i get to feed the pet i get to adopt the pets i get to buy my toys for the pets mm -hmm. teach them tricks teach them tricks exactly yeah. i get to like send them to doggy daycare so i can get bougie <laughs> and send my babies to doggy daycare <laughs> so i love that about this game literally it's just in general just mm -hmm. to sum it all up i get to live through the game and have a pet because i don't have one it reminded me of my daughter <laughs> So sad. Uh, it reminded me of my daughter. Uh, sounds mean, but my daughter reminds me of a pet. So, <laughs> and I love this game a lot too. There is a cat lover one, but I'm not a cat person. I didn't like the cat one either. So though. we never played the cat. I watched one. the playthrough. This is actually on BGA, and I played it quite a few times on BGA, and I really, really love it. Um, as well, board game and arena. This is my hand if you'd like to uh, play with me there. Love Next one. This game. Love this game. First time we played this game. Ten. Yes. I think we played like two times that day because mm -hmm. I absolutely loved it. We played it with more than the the people that it's always, yeah. it's one, two. The second time we played it yes. was more. So than, it's one, two, five, and I think we played with six. Yeah. We made it work. It was hard. Yeah. But we made it but work. We made yeah. it work. It's a gambling game. Reminds me so much of gambling. I don't gamble. This is the closest thing to gambling that I got. And honey, when I tell you, I wish those coins was real because <laughs> I was banking. But um, other than that, this, this this is a really, really fun game. You can play with all age groups. With Another thing um, that I love about this game is, the, of course, the first time I played was with Stephanie and our friends with Book Club. But it's something that I can also take home and play with my family and we'll get because I'm telling you when I tell you we are uh, beginners So we need the easiest games possible. This is extremely easy to play extremely fun and it's colorful Oh my gosh the yeah. textures. I'm a texture person um, And the what are they called? I really want to say the pebbles are not pebbles. Yeah, the, the money the, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they, they remind you of pebbles. Yeah, they but do. It's, they're, that's not what they're called. Yeah. But it's so the, the 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 colors are vibrant as ever and the cards are just as vibrant and the money that you use your coins or whatever they're so soft and pretty so that's another mm -hmm. thing that i liked about the game was the texture yeah and the quality mm -hmm. the yes. quality of it yeah. super easy both of them are really easy to teach yeah, too up next azul. azul very beloved azul this one took me a minute to really get into it but you loved it from I the get-go. I loved it from the jump. So, first of all, there is one that looks like Starburst. Oh, all the, yes. the little square yes. deals. Yeah. So, that was the thing for mm -hmm. 
uh, my ADD was <laughs> tough. <laughs> she was so I was like, <laughs> she got you I really want to eat this. The first, the first time that we played this, was it at the park? It was at the park. Or was it at work that I took it? It was it was at work, work because when we played it at the park mm -hmm. it, book club yeah book I, club, yeah I um I was already fluent but I mm -hmm. still wanted, wanted to put it yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. bad so it was like um the the texture again I'm a texture person mm -hmm. uh it's so pretty so so pretty and I'm telling you the the tiles remind mm -hmm. you so much of Starburst <laughs> it's ridiculous it literally it makes you want to smell it it's it's they're so pretty um it. The tiles literally look like this. Oh yeah, like they're, they're mm -hmm. so pretty. Yeah, um, and so soft. You're still kind of playing against other people mm -hmm. because you get so in your feelings. Well, I do anyway. Yeah. Whenever With somebody the gets the tiles that you want, yeah. exactly. Now I'm breaking tiles, and I was mad, but yeah. it was fun. Extremely fun. Extremely easy. Very, very, very easy to learn. Mm -hmm. um, especially whenever your attention span is this short, yeah. you can still keep up with it. Yeah. So that that was another benefit for me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I had to explain the rules on this one too much yeah when i tell you i have to explain the rules with her with book club in general because i'm not shame i don't I, they don't pay attention to me we pay attention to like the first eight words we yes. at least do that and then all of a sudden everything just start <laughs> running together but this one it didn't run together super easy yeah and uh we've actually played this on bgm borgit arena and we played the yes. chocolate version I love the chocolate. yes and i really want the chocolate one as well because that one looks more yummier than this one yeah. and i only have this one it's the only one i've ever played i know there's many 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 other ones the other ones look more complex except for the chocolate one the chocolate one looks simple like it was, this yeah, very easy, yeah. and uh because of the quality and the tiles you can play this outside without it like flying away yeah true yeah it was very windy that day yeah it was outside. Yeah. very windy then we have um this one this next one we've only ever played one time Fell in love with it. Yes, only one time. I was actually surprised at how good Rear Window is. I haven't seen the movie myself, but we've only ever played it once. And also, I honestly forgot it was a movie. Oh I yeah. Forgot it was a movie. Oh yeah. It's this um social deduction. Well, social deduction. Yeah, I guess like a social deduction game. You're trying to figure out who the place. Yeah, like kind of like Clue, but fancier. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I get yeah. that vibe. I definitely get Clue vibes. Yeah. So this one was definitely a win for me because <clears throat> if you know me, I am nosy. And literally, <laughs> yes. this is how I won. We won the game. Like my team won the game because I'm like putting all my nosy tendencies together. Yeah. And literally the... <laughs> Do you the, remember the story that you guys made up? So it I has to make sense. It has to make sense. And it, and it made sense. And we won. <laughs> it was racist. Yeah. yeah. Really. Facts. I forgot all about that, Stephanie. Okay, yeah. She was being racist. <laughs> it wasn't being oh, racist. Yeah. Everything was random. So I was playing Hitchcock and it was a random deal. Bro. And then at one point they're like, it can't be this that's racist. <laughs> and I just wasn't all laughing. Because it was true. It was right. I mean, like, not the racist part, but it was right. Yes. Stereotypical. Yes. Let's say that. Very <laughs> stereotypical. Mm -hmm. Um, But whenever one, that was the one thing that I, I liked uh -huh. about this because literally the way i live my life um <laughs> was how i was able to win this game the fact that it's like a, a huge variety mm -hmm. of things that can be the issue yes. so you know you really have to put on your thinking cap yeah uh, for this game the quality or not the quality but like the presentation of uh -huh. it, it wasn't as vibrant yeah as all the other games that we played that wasn't a lose though mm -hmm. but it's definitely it gives you old school vibes mm -hmm. but it was really really fun um, I'm just looking at the back. The characters were, were pretty fun mm -hmm. as well. We definitely had to give each character a backstory, which <laughs> is really club, what the club guy. <laughs> the club guy, yes, he was the alcoholic. You had to. Um, it, it's, it's super fun though, mm -hmm. but you definitely uh, have to like use your imagination, um, including the backstories with them. It kind of makes you think of like real life, real life scenarios, mm -hmm. which is what's going to help you win it. So that was a win. Say so we wanted to play it once, one time, yeah. But it was fun. It yeah. was extremely fun, and it didn't take too long and this one no, also didn't all. take a lot to teach either no it was really simple to teach well, you can't teach nosy yeah no. she's like super nosy like every time that there's like the ambulance or something <laughs> it's like she literally ran down there to a fire <laughs> i was like okay not too much but i completely forgot about that thanks hey, stephanie <laughs> they're so oh, <laughs> i came back upstairs really smelling like smoke i was being so nosy then <laughs> <laughs> Our bill was work, on fire, and I thought we weren't gonna have to go to work the next day, so I had to go confirm. We were at work the next day, so the fire wasn't that bad, but it was a real fire. It was a small little fire. So we we're on, we're on the fifth floor. That you had to look through the windows. It, it's, I mean, in this game, so you had to look through the windows to win this game. So like, 
I'm literally checking out a patient and I, I just so happened to look out the window. I'm like, is that smoke? It's coming from that. It's smoke. And then finally, uh, not only the most advanced, but your overall favorite. My overall favorite. You overall just favorite. really fell in love with it. Well, everybody was supposed to do it, but it was only myself and my sister who I dressed, dressed up. It just wasn't as pretty as y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I look like <laughs> off of the Gilded Age, the ones who... I was the one who was downstairs. Yes. <laughs> but Evie, my sister, she killed it. She had very a, much. She, she had, yeah, she had a little fear. Her glove. I will say though that this game at a higher player count, it takes too long. I don't think I would want to play. I think three might be the sweet spot. You, but you know what? It took a long time that time because it was our five first, of us. It yeah. was our very first it time was. playing that. Even mine. Even yeah. mine. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, if you haven't guessed it by that. And she is obsessed with this uh, game. I am literally obsessed. Oh, so heavy. Yeah. And it does have the expansion, the upstairs, downstairs expansion. Hello, sister. It Ooh. does? Well, where is it? What? The we expansion? have it? Yeah, it has, it has an expansion in there. We well, never played it. Yes, downstairs. we have. You should have put me downstairs <laughs> that day. I had that outfit on. It's I don't not remember that. It's not how that works. Oh. <laughs> it's just like extra tiles. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> you are so disrespectful. <laughs> We're editing this, right? But Eddie, girl, you you look good though. With your little tiny <coughs> legs, you just look so different. It's not bad at all. That's not what she said. Well, she's mean as fuck, so you can't listen to anything she <laughs> All right, guys, oh we came God. back from our bullying moment, or my bullying Your moment. Your bullying moment. What Obsession. do you love about that? What do I not love about this? First of all, I am extra, and when I tell you this game is extra, it allows me to be extra, because I definitely go and sing. I have my little coffee or my little tea, and then we're going to go out to the yard. And, uh, oh no, I'm sorry, the courtyard. The courtyard. Or the garden. Yes. Or the, the bowling. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go bowling. We're gonna go bowling. Oh, Who's gonna and, go with and, but I can't, I can't go bowling without, uh, without a chef chef. So yeah, cause I can't be a hot twat and, <laughs> and go bowling without, with without a chaperone, right? my yeah. escort. Yeah. Oh, not escort, chaperone, oh. yes. Cause then I'll be the escort, right? <laughs> we can't do that. No, we can't do that. This that, is that that's the smart folks coming yeah. out. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> and now y'all see what we read in book club. This is but, our, our, our uh, September September book that we were just talking about today. This book definitely gives you Gilded Age by Gilded game? Age game. Did I say book? <laughs> MC. This book game. <laughs> Stephanie. This see. <laughs> this game definitely gives you Gilded Age vibes. If you're a Gilded Age fan. You will love this. Like literally, all you gotta do is just like close your eyes and then just pretend like you're upstairs. I guess you wouldn't want to be downstairs <laughs> with me. I love all the different um, things that you can do. Let me scratch that because it's not a lot you can do because you know back then it really wasn't a lot to do. But <laughs> outdoor activities. Outdoor activities. <laughs> yes. My favorite part is the reputation. Is my getting my reputation, honey? Because <laughs> you're I'm, trying to come up yes, higher up in yes, class. I'm I'm all the way up there. Uh, first time I won this game, I was I was only uh, at a third re reputation. <laughs> I was dirt poor, y'all didn't have nothing to my name. But now <laughs> I'm fancy. I get all the way up to set. What is you, it? Eight, seven. Eight. You gotta have that money to to yeah. to court. You know yeah. the upper class. So um, that's I, I love this game because I can be extra. Mm -hmm. But yeah. definitely the most um, advanced. There is extremely but yeah. advanced. Too many rules. Yeah. Well. When, when you're not used to it, right, it's yeah. too many rules. It's but. like once you get used to it, then it's like, oh, it's simple. You're yeah, able, like, but, oh, this ain't that bad. Let's yeah, play again. Yeah, yeah. Play that a lot on on board game arena as well. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. It's actually yeah. she got me into the mm -hmm. BGA. BGA. And uh, know what she was talking about. <laughs> these on BGA do kind of like it a little bit better. It plays very very nice because then it's a table hog and there's a yes. lot to set up with yes. this game. I get more reputation when I play it on BGA <laughs> because. I be cheating myself when I play um, by myself, but so that's another reason probably why I was at three. Oh, that's really the right. Time I'm you can, and you're very good at like forgetting. Yeah. Too, too, like when yeah, I, I be so anxious to move on. Yeah. Like it's, 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 it can be overwhelming. Yeah. I remembered one that she loves also. That, oh, yeah, you loved you, it too. The first. I, yeah, we had a lot of fun playing this. We um, got lost our job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a work. 
game, mm-hmm. especially when you're as loud as us. Yeah. Because we're like at a hundred. And we stay at a hundred. <laughs> it's like super quick, easy to learn, easy to yeah. teach, very family friendly. And the fact that you actually bought, went out and not bought one. I bought two coffees. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. My kids so love fun. this game. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all. First of all, we're supposed to buy the holiday version and we never did. We never did. And I still want it. Yeah, I, the holidays are already coming back around. I know. We still get it. I want the Halloween one for I, sure. I want the Christmas yeah. one. Narwhal is my favorite <laughs> because I always want to go straight to the back and you. <laughs> Y'all, when we first. Yes, the. Is it Gorilla? It's Gorilla, Gorilla, Groundhog, Groundhog, and Narwhal. Your hands will be sore. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, our knuckles were hurting so bad from Eddie, knocking so hard. Eddie, Eddie, uh, you cut yourself, right, Eddie? How? Now somebody broke my nail. Yeah, somebody. Broke, I think it was me. He was aggressive. I can totally see that. <laughs> broke her nail and the blood was shed. That the blood so shedding game. This is uh, totally this worth is it. to the death. I'm yes. telling you, because this, yeah, this game is and, so fun. And it's not, it's the least expensive one, I think, from all of them. Yeah, and, and it was like $8.99, yeah. $10, depending on where you get it from. The fact that she bought the game. Yeah, that says a lot. Look, because, you know, she's looking like about bougie and stuff like that, and I, I'm bougie. I'm bougietto. But I bought two of these. So these are her five favorite games that we've played so far with an honorable mention. You Great are Great honorable mention. Yes. Like very fun. Again, blood shedding deal. You Ooh. can turn this into a drinking game. Yeah, you game. definitely could. Uh, but loads of fun. Definitely check them out. Thank you so much. Thank you for having it's me. No it's problem. Coming. Yes, we've been uh, planning this for a long time. Uh, we finished our book club. She goes, hey, I'm here. I'm dressed. I have makeup on. Let's do this video. I said, sure, let's do it. Before we do leave out, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. All right, friends, we did it. I'm so proud.